How long have you had this calf out here? She was born um, as a twin to a first calf in Hever. So it was her first time being a mama and she, um, she actually just wouldn't take her. She wouldn't even let her nurse. And we found her when we went to check cows, we found her going around to several different mama cows trying to nurse. So we piled her in the gator and we brought her to the barn and now we'll finish feeding her. And when you, when you bring them in like this, we feed them twice a day, we feed her twice a day. And so she sucks that down. You saw she sucked that down really fast. Raising a herd of cattle while raising a family of her own has given Meredith a unique perspective on farm life. Between the kids and the calves, there's never a dull moment and always something new to learn and teach. She shares this wisdom with the rest of us through her beautiful photography, her online blog, and her delicious home-cooked meals. It's a lifestyle I could certainly get used to, and one that Meredith Bernard will never take for granted. We're all living our own unique story, and every story and every body's story matters. And that's one thing I love about taking pictures, because pictures are that one thing that um, you can pass down, you know, that we get to pass down to generations. and. And um, so it's not just the fact that we all have stories and they matter, but I think it matters that they're told well and preserved well. Every time that I have cooked chicken, I get reminded by my husband that he's not a chicken farmer. <laughs> don't you think we should cook some beef? So we don't have chicken. We have beef. Well, yeah. Well, like you said, you have freezer, yeah, freezer full of beef. Yeah, freezer full so. of beef, and it's good. And so we don't go out to eat very much either, because when we do, we're usually disappointed. Beef, <laughs> it's what's for dinner every yep. day. Yep, you got to support your... that. <laughs> yeah. Just being able to see the full cycle of life and be reminded daily of how important life itself is and being able to see that come to fruition over and over again and be able to raise our babies on the land and with appreciation for the land. This one thing that there's not any more being made of. Just really hope our children come to, to understand and appreciate those values.